Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. My name is Fungosaurus Rex and in the previous episode we made our way to the end portal. However, before we step through it, there were a few things that we needed to do first, such as brew some potions and make sure our weapons and armor is up to scratch. Because once we step through, we have passed the point of no return. So let's get going and gather up everything we need. And the first thing we're gathering up is some melon slices, because we need them to make glistening melons, which will in turn be made into potions of healing. So we're just going to grab a few of these and then we need to wait for night time. And stay awake because we need some phantom membranes. And to do that we have to stay up for a few nights and wait for the phantoms to come. So we're just going to run around here and wait for them to arrive. And arrive they have. Let's try and get these. Go oh goodness this is not going well. Anyway, we'll get them on the next pass. Here they come. And that's one. That's two. And with my trusty bow and arrow, we grab a few more. Another one bites the dust. And as the sun rises, I think we finally have enough phantom membranes. So now we can make our way back home and go brew up some potions. We are of course making potions of healing and slow falling. And there we go, another batch of potions almost done and this should be enough for now. There we go, three more potions of slow falling. We're probably going to spice these up a little bit. But before we do that, we need to get ourselves a better bow. Right now I've got a bow with power 4 on it and I would dearly like it to have power five but in order to do that i need to get two more power two bows from these guys i've already got two so uh i need to trade a little bit more i think i'll just uh, trade a little bit of my coal and my iron just to get enough emeralds uh, this man should want some more iron there we go and just a little bit more coal and now we should be able to buy the final two bows that we need there we go, that's one of them and that's two. Now all we have to do is combine these and along with our already existing power four bow, that should give us power five. And of course I do not have enough levels. Which means it's time for a trip to the skeleton farm. However, this is the slowest skeleton farm I have ever seen in my life so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have enough patience to wait until i've got enough levels to combine all these bows but we'll see how it goes because i really need some arrows as well i think about two stacks ought to do it so let's just be patient and see what develops i can hear some more over there in the chamber but they are coming through really really slowly and it turns out I do not have the patience to wait for the skeletons to give me enough levels to level up all my bows. So we're going in with our power 4 bow and we'll see how it goes. So here we go, just 3 more. And before we put this last one in, this is kind of a big moment. It's the first time I've come this far in a hardcore world. And finally the gate is open. So all that's left to do now is set my spawn, make sure I've got everything I need. I have my weapons, I have got my water bucket, that's very important of course. I've got, well, just over one stack of arrows and I've got some potions of healing, potions of slow falling and of course I have my netherite army which should keep me safe. So without further ado, let's set our spawn and then step through the portal. Spawn is set, and here we go, into the end. And it's always terrifying waiting for that terrain to spawn in, but we are here, and the first thing I think I need to do is build myself a little safe house. So we're just going to make a wall and then put a roof over our head, which means the Enderman can't get in and the Dragon can't get us 
from above. So let's build ourselves a little box. And our box is almost complete. I ran out of blocks just before I managed to finish the roof. And you can hear that dragon is very, very angry indeed. So I'm just going to build this out one more layer. There we go. We've got a little safe box where we can hide should things get a little bit too intense. So now what we're going to do is build up a staircase and then it's time to take on the dragon. Just a few more blocks and we should be able to start the battle. And just having a quick snack before we grab our bow and get this party started. We have done it. For the first time in Minecraft Hardcore, I have successfully defeated the Ender Dragon. So now, of course, the only thing to do is pick up all of that sweet, sweet experience. This will come in really handy as I've still got a lot of things that I need to combine and upgrade. And then, of course, the next important thing is to grab the egg. There's only one of these and it is mine. Let's just pop a torch down there, dig out this block, and we have one dragon egg. And with that done, it is time to go home. And just a short trip through the nether. And here we are, safe, sound, and victorious. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a well-deserved nap. And next on my to-do list is find a place to proudly display my dragon egg. However, this house is really, really tiny. And I think the only place I can actually put it is right over here. Dragon egg proudly on display. And of course we are heading straight back to the end. Because with a dragon defeated, it's time to enter phase 2. And that is finding an elytra and finding some shulker boxes. Because this is where Minecraft really begins. We of course still have a bunch of other bosses that we will need to fight. But that can wait. Right now, we're going to get ourselves some good stuff and we're going to build some awesome structures. So let's just run back to the library quickly because I need to go grab my rockets. You could recall that I put my ender chest down here. I don't have anything with silk touch, so I can't put it back up again. And none of these books are going to help me right now. And we're back at the end and it's time to make our way to the outer islands. So of course I'm just going to do some bridging with some netherrack because I've got tons of this stuff and I can easily get myself some more. And looking down into the void, usually this would be terrifying, but having defeated the ender dragon on hardcore, I actually wouldn't really mind all that much if I did fall into the void right now. 
However, the plan is to not do that. So let's carry on. And I just realized that I am a colossal nitwit. Because firstly, my bridge is absolutely brimming with endermen. So I'm just going to use this boat and see if I can get rid of them. Because I have quite a long way to go back to the main island. If only I can get this boat to move forward a little bit. That would be fantastic. All right. Enderman number one. I have a slight suspicion that this is going to take forever. However, we're probably going to end up with quite a few ender pulls. So it all works out in the end. And after spending way too much time with the boat, I have decided to simply flush the Enderman. And it seems to be working a lot better. However, this guy is really, really stubborn. He's not looking like he's going to get out of the way anytime soon. He would rather die and stand his ground. Let's just pick that up and see if he'll flush away. Ah, there we go. On to the next one. And I have eventually decided that I'm just going to shimmy past them. Because even the water was taking forever. And now the other reason why I was a colossal nitwit is that when you kill the ender dragon, a portal spawns. And you can go through the portal and get to the ender islands much, much quicker. So let's see if we can locate that. There it is. Alright, let's grab some blocks, build some steps up to it, and then make our way to the end islands and just a little bit more to go and here we are however i don't have a trapdoor and i don't have any wood on me so that means i need to make my way back home and get some wood so this is going to take a while and i'll see you guys when i get back and here we are we have some wood we have a trapdoor, and now we have a portal. Okay, and that was that was quite interesting. Um, fortunately, I am up here. I have no idea why that happened, but anyway, let's go find ourselves an end city. I have absolutely no idea which direction would be the right way, but let's see how it goes. And I have finally found an end city, complete with a ship, which means I can get myself an elytra. So let's just try to not look at any of these endermen and make our way directly to the ship where we'll build ourselves up with blocks and go straight to the source. And let's make our way straight up to the ship. And once I have my elytra, I'll glide over to the end city and see what goodies are on offer. Of course, the most important thing I want out of these end cities are shulker shells. And the more I can find, the better, obviously. But as long as I have about three or four shulker boxes, I'll be very, very happy indeed. And we're almost there. Just a few more blocks to go. And this stack has almost run out. So let's just grab the... Oh, no, 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 no. And after treating you to what was probably the most embarrassing water bucket clutch fail in history, let's try again. And here we are, second time's the charm, and we'll just go straight in and grab ourselves an elytra. But before we do that, I think I'll just grab this brewing stand. And there it is, just one shulker standing in our way. And we'll just float over there, take care of him, and then get our prize. There we go. So let's just have a look what goodies we've got in these chests. Um, and oh, that's quite a nice bit of diamonds. And that is not a bad helmet either. And this one, we've got a bit of gold. We've got a decent shovel and not too bad pickaxe. And of course, we've got a few emeralds, which I'm going to grab as well. And with all the loot collected, we'll just see what we can pop in here. Let me just get rid of that. 
And then let's grab our prize. And the sky's the limit. We have an elytra. So now it's time to make our way to the city. And we've made our way over to the city itself. And we're just going to go up and see what treasures we can find. First, let's get rid of these shulkers. That's one shell. I'll collect that in a second when I come down. Take care of this one as well as soon as he opens his box. There we go. That's another shulker shell. This is going quite well. And we've got one over there. But before, I'm going to just grab the loot in here and two more diamonds. That's very welcome. And let's get rid of this guy over here. And of course, his counterpart on the other side. And then let's go claim our spoils right after getting rid of this guy. Alrighty, and we have some gold, some diamond boots, and well, not much else. And I think that is all this little end city has to offer. So I'm going to see my way to the portal and go home. That is, of course, if I can find the portal first. I cannot quite remember. I think I came from this direction. But fortunately, we have the elytra, which makes traveling a whole lot easier. And yes, there is a portal. I don't think it's the one I came in with, but I don't really care. I'm going to just build my way up to it and then make my way back home. And of course, one could argue at this point that I have completed the game, but there's so much more to do. And this is actually where it starts getting fun. Because it is day 173, we have defeated the Ender Dragon, and finally, we can start playing Minecraft. That is all I have time for today. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. And if you want to see some more, perhaps consider subscribing. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time beautiful people, stay awesome, bye bye.